Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share my thoughts on a couple of the Mudrex Invest strategies. I get a lot of requests from some of you out there that want me to configure your bots for you. I don't do that. But there is a solution out there. Mudrex offers you the opportunity to invest in other people's strategies that they've configured. And actually right now they're offering you the opportunity to invest in those strategies for free. That's right. Zero fees through the end of January. Now, if you're familiar with a lot of my videos, I configure my own bots. I prefer to use Mudrex to configure my own strategies and deploy them. But I also spend a lot of time managing and adjusting these strategies and not everybody can do that. So the Mudrex invest strategies are a possibility. Now, I want to make this clear before we get too far into the weeds. You need to do your own recon. This is not intended as investment advice. And this video is really intended as educational information on how I would break down one of these strategies and what I'd be looking at before I threw my money at it. So be sure you do your own recon before you actually send your money in the battle with one of these strategies. Now, something I want to point out before you think of this as a true investment where you're giving Mudrex your money, you're not. The way it works is you connect your exchange like Binance API keys and the strategy you invest in will trade just like an automated crypto trading bot. It will actually make buy and sell orders on your behalf through your exchange. You don't actually send any money to Mudrex. Your money is as secure as it can be on an exchange. And if you're not already on the Mudrex platform, I will leave a link down in the description below. If you use that link, you'll get $25 sign up bonus that you can actually apply towards future fees after the January 31st free period runs out. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's jump into the first strategy that I want to take a look at, and that's the Wind Farm ETH. Now, I did actually invest in this strategy. I wanted to put it to the live fire test before I did too harsh of a review. And in reality, it held its own. It did actually return since I did invest it in this particular strategy. You can see your stats, meaning my stats from July 17th to November 27th. I let this algo run and it actually produced a 37% profit on my $500 investment. So overall, I was satisfied. It did not exceed the market returns. And that's something when I'm testing my own strategies. Again, this is my Ichimoku cloud crossing strategy for April 2020 through January 2021. The back test shows overall returns would have been 555% versus the market of 658. I prefer to be as close as I can, if not better than market returns before I actually deploy a strategy. But again, for that time frame, those type of returns were fine. And if I break down the results a little more, the maximum drawdown was 17%, sharp ratio of 2.7. I always look for something over two. The profit factor, I prefer something over two. There, they did not achieve that. Part of the reason why I ended my investment. Another reason was there were a couple of times where they had 20% profit on a position only to watch that turn into an actual loser. That's a pretty big concern. If you have something up 20%, you ought to have a stop loss or a trailing stop loss. You ought to have something in place to lock in some profits. You should never let a 20% winner turn into a loser. And I did see that happen more than once. But again, I monitor my investments all day long. So I'm looking at multiple screens and I'm able to catch those type of things. You may not have the time to do that. You might rather just invest and forget about it and look at this 37% and be thrilled you're up 37%. Now, as far as their risk versus reward, they come in a little light in my book. I prefer a one to three. This is more like a one to two and a half. So now if you want to know a little more about the strategy, their description doesn't give you a whole lot of information. Now today's bull market is pretty tough to outperform. Uh, so they basically say it won't outperform the bull market, but it will accumulate in the bear market. So you know, that's encouraging, but there's just a lot of fluff in this description. Now, rather than looking at just my stats, let's look at their live performance since the beginning of deployment. They deployed this bot April of 2020 
And today currently is January 20th, 2021. And you can see they're up almost 200%, but yet the market's up almost 800%. So that's a pretty big gap. However, if I told you back in April, I could return 200% on ETH for you, I'm pretty sure you would have given me your money. So with that being said, profit factors over two, sharp ratios over two, that's all looking good. So overall, its performance is acceptable. And again, like I mentioned, if there is a month where there is no profit, you don't actually end up paying the fee. And right now, the fee is actually waived through the end of the month. Now, with that all being said, let's jump to the next bundle that we're going to take a look at, and that's the Chimera Binance Spot BTC. So when you're investing in strategies versus building your own strategies and deploying them, you probably want to diversify. You probably don't want to put all your chips on a single bet, say with ETH. Maybe you want to put some here on ETH, and then we'll look at the Chimera BTC. So then you would be getting some diversity in your investment. And again, this particular strategy is free through the end of the month. And if it's not profitable in a month, you'll actually not pay any fees as well. So there's kind of insurance. Now, I don't have your stats because I have not invested in this particular strategy. And the performance is for the same time frame. It looks like April 9th, 2020 through January 2021. And if we scroll down, it is up 162% versus 418% on Bitcoin. Not bad returns. Sharp ratio is well over two. Profit factor is also over two. Max drawdown is pretty acceptable at 13%. Now with that low of a max drawdown and this high of a sharp ratio, they might be able to put on a little more risk and increase their returns. That's just something I would look at. Uh, if you're risk averse, you're going to like a low max drawdown and a high sharp ratio. Uh, total trades is pretty high, 335 trades. A lot of trades does not always equal a lot of profit. I know you action junkies out there probably disagree. But for instance, my Ichimoku Cloud strategy, 60 trades, almost 600% profit. You don't have to have a lot of trades to be extremely profitable. Now, if we... Look at some more of the stats. Their risk versus reward is almost one to three. If they could get over that one to three area, that is where I would prefer to see it myself if I was to be investing. And then if I scroll down and look at the actual trades, we see smaller, smaller losses, good looking wins. However, there's a batch of pretty big losses. Let's see. Yeah. Never like to see 18 losing. They went on an 18 trade losing streak. They need to take better entries. Uh, 18 losing streaks, not great. However, an eight winning streak is good. Again, if we look back at my strategy, you're looking at a losing streak of three. That I can stomach. I can actually stomach a losing streak of 18, but most investors can't. Most investors are going to get extremely frustrated and probably bail on this strategy when they start losing 18 trades in a row. I understand you might lose 18 in a row. Let's look at, there's so many trades here. I'm not going to be able to go through and figure out where that 18's at. But again, that's why you need to do your own recon. If you're going to invest in this strategy, you need to look at every single one of the previous trades and get an understanding of what you can expect out of this strategy. Now, if we jump to the description of this strategy, it's quite a bit different than the wind farm. They have some of the fluff in there, but what I do like is they do kind of break out a little information. There's not a lot there. They're not going to give you their battle plans, but they do at least tell you that, you know, 90 minute candles, one hour candles, 30 minute candles, two hour candles. Uh, they made an adjustment. Uh, higher on their stop loss this type of description actually builds confidence when i'm looking to invest in a strategy all right now we'll jump back and take a look at one more and then i'll wrap this video up and let's pick something completely different maybe not towards the top we'll go with hugo here uh, it's on coinbase so that's a little different the last two were on binance this one's on coinbase it's 
And it looks like it's a generalized algo for all BTC seasons. Let's see what their description looks like. There's not a whole lot here. It looks like they did paper trading without modifications for 12 months. You know, they talk about diversification over multiple exchanges. You know, they're running on Coinbase Pro. Their fee of 2% extremely high because you're also going to pay an extremely high fee with Coinbase Pro. You're going to be paying on your trades 0.5% when you buy, 0.5% when you sell. So essentially 1% for both sides of the trade. Plus at the end of the month, you're going to pay these folks 2%. That's going to make it pretty tough to be profitable. However, it appears that they have managed to be profitable uh, from November through January. They are around 50%, not a bad return. They're not over trading by any means. That's about four trades a month. The max drawdowns shy of 20%. Sharp ratios over two and profit factors over two. Market returns of 152 versus that 48. So about three times as much, which isn't out of line. Losing streak of three. These are numbers that look much better, even though they're not as big as the other two we just looked at. But it's not been running as long as the other two is either. The, the other two were running since April. So they have like eight more months of investing on them. So here's the big issue that I see. They're bleeding out on their losses. These losses are way too big. I uh, don't even have a one to two risk versus reward. This one, unfortunately, would definitely be a no for me as far as investing in on this risk versus reward. And let's see. Let's go roll down real quick. There's not a whole lot of trades here. And we can see big loss, big loss, small loss. Now, if they could get their losses under control, really big loss there. Their wins are decent sized if they can reduce their loss sizes. This strategy could be improved, but again, they're asking 2%, one of the highest fees that I've seen on a strategy that one, isn't proven over a long period of time, has potential, but more than likely needs work. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. There's a lot of strategies I didn't get into that you need to do your own recon on. If you're not interested in configuring your own bot and deploying it, this might be a solution for you. Now, what I will do, if you're doing your own recon and you have questions, leave those questions or comments down below and I will do my best to answer your questions. So with that all being said, if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to shoot that subscribe button. There's going to be a ton more videos on crypto trading coming out this year. You might want to smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of those videos. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. I'll see you in the next video.